Hi, this is Mr. Daniel with Pandas Karate, and today I'm going to take you guys through what Bully Side is. We're going to go over the Netflix show, 13 Reasons Why, and also two stories of a 10-year-old and a 13-year-old girl who took their lives due to bullying. So what is Bully Side? This is a term that came up a couple of years ago where kids, teenagers were taking their own lives due to bullying, hence the word Bully Side. An article from the New York Post states that the suicide rate for girls ages 15 to 19 doubled from 2007 to 2015. Suicide rate for boys ages 15 to 19 actually increased by 30% over the same time period. So what is happening? What is going on? Like, does that mean that that kids, teens, are actually going through things that perhaps are going unnoticed. I always go back to things start at home, right? All my bullying problems started from what's happening to me at home, I go to school, and I guess sometimes my own parents thought that everything would be okay while I'm there. That in those four walls of a school, nothing could possibly go wrong. Now you have to remember, I've been, I was bullied from sixth grade all the way through high school many different people, even changed schools at one point. And so it was really impactful that, um, that these moments of bullying happened to me and how did I take them? Well, I'm really fortunate that I never fell into depression or anything like that. But for many individuals, this does happen. A lot of bullying inside occurs, I believe, through depression, through perhaps abuse, and just a lot of mental health issues. All of this can be detected by early signs. If, if you feel it, if a, if, if a parent feels it. For a kid to go to that point though, I do feel that a lot must have gone on before you even got to that point. It's not like you just get made fun of and boom, you have to off yourself. I don't think that's what it has to come down to. But I do think this is, we're talking about years and years of bullying or, or embarrassment, whatever it is. I had the type of grandpa that basically would say if I had a bullying issue, oh, well, you need to go fight back. You need to stand up for yourself. But wait a second, what about my feelings though? I mean, I got hurt. And sometimes fighting wasn't the answer. See, so I think it depends on what kind of information the parents are giving, or even if the parents are involved. Did you guys ever hear of the show 13 Reasons Why on Netflix. This show actually was super popular. Um, it was about a girl named Hannah Baker and the girl um, ended up killing herself. Before she did, she ended up making um, tapes for different people that had pushed her to make that decision. So she, and throughout the show, um, each different episode showed different moments of of her interacting with somebody and what they did wrong to her and how perhaps maybe they didn't stand up for her, they were a bystander. And it took the viewer through all these different scenarios of, that Hannah had to go through. Ultimately, at the end of the show, Han uh, it was revealed how Hannah had killed herself. There was a big controversy with this show as well. A lot of parents stood up and started saying that this perhaps was glorifying suicide. And then in another case, there were actually also kids and, and teens who saw the, the film and uh, who saw the show and actually started uh, creating their own scenarios at home, leaving notes and whatnot. Uh, lots of different things happened because of this show. Does that mean this show was wrong for even putting this on, on Netflix? Was it wrong for Netflix to allow this show to progress, especially knowing that Bully Side was still so relevant and growing at a fast rate? I don't know. I asked a couple of parents who had watched um, the show. I only watched a couple of episodes, um, but I asked several parents who watched it from start to finish, and I asked them this very same question. Did it glorify suicide? Many parents actually said no. They said that if anything, it helped open up a dialogue between their son and daughter, who perhaps was young, and they asked, they would pause the, 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 the show or, or end an episode, and they would say, hey, what did you think about that? Hey, have, has this ever happened to any of your friends? What do you think? What would you do in that situation? So if anything, they, learned, they use it as a parenting tool. 
Now, you also got the kids and teens who are just watching the show without parental guidance, without having the knowledge of of what's going on in the show, and they're as young as 10 years old watching it, and they're not telling their parents about it, and they have questions, and they got to figure things out for themselves. So Netflix's response to this was that they decided to do warning cards throughout the episodes and help with at least having some type of disclaimer around these different episodes of 13 Reasons Why. If you haven't watched it, I do suggest it if you are interested in, in knowing more about the topic of bully side and understanding that it doesn't just hurt the person or the direct family of Hannah dying, but it actually affects the many people around her, the teachers, the students, the store vendors she used to meet. I mean, it, it when a child or teen kills themselves, I mean, literally it affects the whole community. That brings me to my last topic. I wanna share with you guys two stories of two girls who actually did commit bully side. So the first one comes from a story about a Colorado girl who was 10 years old. This girl was a fifth grader at an elementary school, um, Sunrise Elementary School, and she got into her first fight ever on school property at the end of October. This is 2017, by the way. Um, one of her friends filmed uh, her in this fight and uploaded it to a app called Musical.ly. Musical.ly is one of those apps where you can like sing to different songs and um, um, and it's a really funny way and it's a, it's a really popular app with uh, kids and teens and apparently the girl was so devastated about it and how it was spreading and it was just very embarrassing for her. Um, two weeks later she ended up hanging herself in a closet. They tried taking her to Children's Hospital in Colorado but she ended up dying. The parents believed that the school could have done something about this. The parents believed that there could have been so much more that could have been done before you even got to that point. A 13-year-old girl called Roseli Avila from California was bullied for many, many months and years and was always told that she was ugly. They made fun of her teeth, for having braces, and one day she ended up locking herself in her room to music. Her parents knocked on the door, couldn't get in, there was no way to get in, until finally one of them was able to pick the lock, and when they walked in, she had hung herself. They ended up taking her to the hospital, and there was nothing that they could do. Both of the parents were distraught, the family was destroyed. They again blamed the school. They thought the school could have done more. They thought that, that there was no compassion for their daughter's problems and that the school had just brushed it away, let it get to that point. She left a note behind and in the note she had told the parents, she had told the mom that I'm sorry that you're gonna see me this way and she ended up telling the dad, um, please don't post any pictures of me um, at my funeral. And we're assuming that she did that because she believes she's ugly. So even after killing herself, she still thinks that she's ugly. These two stories are hard for me, even myself, to talk about as I was reading them. I, um, by the way, this was, uh, again, another 2017, I believe in December, um, incident. Ashanti Davis and Rosella Avila, I don't ever want to forget because I think as people, we are so engulfed in our own lives. We start focusing on politics. We start focusing on, you know, the Olympics just passed and we forget that these two little girls uh, did this to themselves and it's because of a bigger problem. Yeah, maybe something was happening to them inside, but who started it? Was it home? Was it the kids at school? Is it the school itself for the lack of support? Is it for shows like 13 Reasons Why? What is really the culprit? All I know is, is that this has to stop growing year by year. We can do more. We can be there and help these children and teens out. 
We do not need to look the other way. We do not need to assume everything's okay. And I think a lot of us do. A lot of us think everything's okay. I really love to hear what you guys have to say on the topic and share me some stories or even some tips on what we can do to help our kids and teens. If you or someone you know needs help, you can reach the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. You can also text hello to 741-741 for free for 24-hour support from the Crisis Text Line. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to hear from you.